What's up guys? I'm BTC. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I've got not one, not two, but three pretty awesome tips for you when you're exploring the oceans around the island in Ark Survival Evolved. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So first up is going to be how you can easily see the entire ocean floor. So when you get into the water, hello, hello little dolphin there. When you get into the water, you'll notice that it's pretty hard to see anything. And when you put the goggles on, it improves, but it's still not really that good. So I'm going to take the goggles off, and then I'm going to hold the jump button, which will bring me to the surface. And if you continue holding the jump button, everything is completely, perfectly clear. So I can now go to a different part of the map. So I'm going to go over here. Is that a shark? That might be a shark. That is also a shark. Okay, there are a bunch of sharks over here. Let me let me come to this area. I'm using a very low-level dolphin that will die very quickly. But now look at that. Boom. I can now see everything perfectly crystal clear. You can see where the oil is if that's what you're going for. You can see uh, any of the sharks or anything, any of the other uh, water animals if they're up near you. Oh, I like that. Okay, time to move. Second tip I got for you is how you can use certain items underwater. Now, normally when you're riding a water animal, you can't use your spyglass or the GPS, but you can get around this. If you get off of the animal and then you take out your spyglass and then get back on the animal, there's a certain button that you can press. It's the toggle fists button. I'm sure you guys use it all the time. You press it and it will pull the item out even though you're kind of not supposed to have access to it. So when you're in the water, you can pull out your spyglass and you can check all around and see, oh, there is a shark coming right towards me. So you can use this to check out the levels of mosasaurs or plessis or whatever without actually having to get off of the animal that you are currently swimming on. So pretty cool. Now the other thing is you can also use the GPS. And the GPS is super, super handy to use because when you have this, well, now you can more easily find all the deep sea crates. So once you find what the deep sea crate locations are, you can check the wiki and all that other stuff. It'll show you all the different locations. You can just swim around and you can go to the exact spot where the deep sea crate is. And then you can swim down and collect it if it happens to be there. Makes it so, so much easier when you're trying to find that stuff. The third and final trick is also a really, really simple one. In case you didn't know, whenever you are in the water, you can't eat. It doesn't allow you to use the item. But hey, maybe you're going to get hungry and you need to eat. If you want to do that, all you have to do is get on the dolphin or the plessy or whatever else you're using. And then you can use it. And this doesn't matter if you're at the surface or if you are at the very bottom of the ocean, you can still eat. You just have to make sure that you are riding the animal when you do it. So that's it guys. Three simple tips how you can easily see underwater, use your items underwater, and also eat while underwater. I hope these help you out. If they do and you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe for more art content. Thank you for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.